Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. In this video, we are going through how to unlock all Alohomora levels fast. That's one, two, and three to open every single lock in the game. So this is a demiguise statue location guide. You're going to need to start the quest. You'll then need to find nine or eight because Gladwin Moon gives you one. Then you'll need to find a further 13. To start this one off, you are going to be given a quest called the Caretaker's Lunar Lament that has a level 14 requirement, and it just requires story progression to unlock. You'll know exactly when it's available because the game goes into the autumn season through like a little cutscene sort of thing, and you are going to get an owl post from Gladwin Moon. What you'll need to do is meet up with Gladwin Moon and start the quest. He's going to give you Alohomora level 1, and that is instantly going to give you access to opening level 1 locks. And he's also going to task you with sneaking around the restricted area to find a few demiguise statues. Alohomora is used exactly the same on levels 1, 2 and 3. All the different locks have exactly the same mechanic to them. The easiest way to use it is to move your left stick around until the mechanism in the bottom right starts spinning. Then hold the left stick in place and move the right stick until the middle mechanism starts moving. After a second with both the mechanisms moving, the door will open, the lock will be picked. After you have completed the first quest, or the first part of it, you are going to get a quest from Gladwin Moon to unlock levels 2 and 3. So what we are going to do is jump into the Demiguys statue or the Demiguys Moon locations. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I hope it helps you out. So when you start the quest, even though it says return 9 moons to Gladwin, you only need to find a further 8 because he lets you keep one from the quest. You'll see it in my inventory now. So number 2, if we go to the map, we are in Hogwarts Castle. If we go to the Astronomy Wing and we go to Professor Fig's classroom, and as soon as you spawn in at the Flu Flame location, if you walk into the classroom, then you go up into Professor Fig's office. You can see at the back there, that is moon number 2. Statue number three, we are going to go to the Great Hall and we are going to actually go to the Great Hall Flu Flame. And when we spawn in at the Great Hall, if you use Revelio, you can actually locate the statues. You'll see it there highlighted in blue and that is the one we are going for. So we're going to head over to this door. We are going to use Alohomora and we are going to open it. So like I mentioned... Earlier in the video, you need to use your left stick to get them bottom right mechanisms turning. Then keep that in place and use your right stick. And there you go. As soon as the middle ones start moving with the right stick, the door will open. So we go inside and on the table right there is the Demiguise Moon. That is number three. The next statue, if we go to the Library Annex and we go to the Divination Classroom. When you spawn in, if you run up the stairs, when you get to the very top, there is going to be a magical ladder that drops down. You want to climb this ladder. And when you get to the top, if you run around to the left-hand side, you will see Demiguy's moon right there. The next Demiguy's statue, if you stay in the library annex, but you travel to the library. So when you spawn in at the library flu flame, if you run over here to the left-hand side, you go through them doors, Come down these stairs here. And then when you get down here, if you go around to the left and follow this all the way around. If I don't keep getting stuck on bits of the building, come down these stairs. Run around to the right. Follow this room all the way to the back. And there you go. You have another Demi Guy's moon. Next up, we are heading to the Bell Tower Wing. And you want to go to Hogwarts North Exit. As soon as you spawn in, what you want to do is turn around, head into the courtyard, round to the left-hand side. And at the bottom of these stairs, there is going to be a door. If I quickly jump over that wall, this door has a level 1 lock, so quickly unlock the door. And once the door is open, if you head inside, there is going to be another Demiguise Moon. Next up, we are going to the Bell Tower Wing, and we are going to the Bell Tower Courtyard. When you spawn in, if you turn to the left, go up these stairs and go straight through this door here. What we are then going to do is go down the stairs, head through this door and follow these stairs down. Keep going round, keep following the stairs and then head to the right. On your left hand side there is a door, it's got another level 1 lock so quickly unlock the door. 
And once the door is open, on your right hand side there is another Demiguy's Moon. So far you should have seven Demiguy's Moons, and that is as many as we can get in Hogwarts Castle. So now we are going to make our way up to Hogsmeade. So we go to the Hogsmeade map, and we are going to spawn at the South Hogsmeade Flu Flame. So when you spawn in, if you run round to the left and go left again, head towards the exit of Hogsmeade, we are going to go in this building on the right hand side. Once you go in, head behind the vendor. And then right on the unit there, you are going to see the next Demi Guy's moon. But as I said about it having to be night time, we are going to advance and we are going to change the time to night time. And there you go. You are now able to pick up the Demi Guy's moon. And that is number eight. We are now one away from having Alohomora level two. So from this previous statue, we are going to head out of here. We're going to do a left when we leave this shop. So we just make it out of the door. We're going to do a left and straight in front of you, we are heading to the three broomsticks. And when we get inside this building, all we have to do is go up the stairs and follow everything all the way to the very top of this pub, whatever you want to call it, the three broomsticks. So keep going all the way to the top and you are going to have a level one door. And once you have unlocked that door and opened it, there is going to be Demiguy's Moon number nine. So then what you want to do is fast travel back to the faculty tower and you are going to meet up with Gladwin Moon. And there you go, just like that, a little bit of dialogue, you have unlocked Alohomora level 2. So now Gladwin is going to task you with returning another 13 of the statues. So we are going to make our way back to the three broomsticks. So from straight outside the three broomsticks, you're going to head round to the left hand side, and there's going to be a building right here. Unlock this door, it's only level 1, so you are able to do it nice and easy, rotating that left stick again. Then rotate in the right stick until all the mechanisms are spinning and door is open. When you are inside the building, you just want to head upstairs and on your left hand side is a Demi Guy's moon. So now what we're going to do is we are going to fast travel over to West Hogsmeade. And as soon as you spawn in, if you run round to the right hand side and go down these stairs, then do a straight right again. The building that's over in the far side, if you go inside the building, go through to the back of the hog's head, and on the left hand side, there is another Demi Guy's moon. So, after that one, what you want to do is head back to Hogwarts Castle, and we are going to the Bell Tower Wing. We are going to the Beast's Classroom. When you spawn in here, if you just turn around in this building right behind you, this one has a level 2 lock. And the level 2 lock works exactly the same as level 1, there's no different mechanics or anything like that. But once that is open, if you head through to the next room, you are going to see your next Demiguy's Moon. Next we are going to the Astronomy Wing, and we are going to the Transfiguration Courtyard. And as soon as you spawn in, you're going to turn around and there is going to be a door. Go through, and this door right here has a level 2 lock, so we're going to unlock that. And once that door is open, on your left hand side in the room is going to be the next Demi Guy's Moon. Next up, we are going to the South Wing and we are going to the Clock Tower Courtyard. So, with this one, when you spawn in, if you turn around right next to the Flu Flame, you are going through this door and you are going to run across the bridge and through this door. Follow this all the way down and take the left at the end. Then the far back left door has a level 1 lock on it. Then once that door is open, if you come in here and go through the middle toilet, like cubicle, whatever you want to call it, there is your next Demi Guy's Moon. So next we are going back to Hogsmeade, and we are going to the South Hogsmeade Flu Flame again. Now when you spawn in, you are going to run around to the left, and to the left again, and we are going to take the right down this alleyway, and where you see this little cart outside, there's going to be a level 2 lock. And upon unlocking that door, you want to head in. And what you're going to do is make your way all the way around, following the stairs all the way up. And when you get to the top, that is your next Demi Guy's Moon. 
For the next one, we are going back to the West Hogsmead Flu Flame. And when you spawn in, if you head to the right and go up these stairs, you have a building here that has a level 2 lock. Once you've unlocked that door, if you head inside the building and go up the stairs, when you get to the top, there is your next Demiguise Moon. The next one, we are going to North Hogsmead. And as soon as you spawn in, if you do a 180 and go around behind you, you are going to see this building here called Dervish and Bangers. And the next Demiguise Moon is right in front of you. So for the next one, from Dervish and Bangers, or Bangs, whatever you want to call it, if you head back towards the tree and go to the left, there's going to be these stairs that go up and this little bridge that goes across the river. Then over here on the right-hand side, if we break this lock or at least pick it, once you have done the puzzle and opened the door, you'll see the collection thing there anyway. Demiguise Moon, that is the next one. And then from that building, if you head back out of the door, go left back across the bridge, and then we are going to make our way up this path and stick to the right hand side. Over here, you have a building, and there's going to be another lock on the door, a level one lock. And once you've opened that door, if you go inside, you are going to have another Demiguise Moon there. But again, it's gone to daytime, so we are going to wait by opening the map and clicking in the right stick. It's going to spawn you in right in front of it, and it's now nighttime, so we can collect that Demiguise Moon. So you'll see now Hogsmeade Demiguise Statues 9 out of 9. So for the final Hogwarts Castle Demiguise Statue, we are going to the Library Annex, and we are going to fast travel to the Potions Classroom. And as soon as you spawn in here, go straight through these double doors, to the left hand side, go all the way down the stairs. And when you make it to the very end of the hallway, there's going to be a level one lock on a door on your left hand side. And once you have unlocked that door, if you make your way in and use Revelio, you'll see the statue on the left hand side. So we have to open up a level two lock. And once you've unlocked that door, that is the final Hogwarts Castle Demi Guys Moon. At this stage, you should have 11 in your inventory. If we quickly go and check. And there we go. We have 11 Demiguise Moons. We need two more to complete the quest and get Alohomora level 3. So at this stage, you've completed Hogsmeade. You've done Hogwarts Castle. You've now got the open world. And pretty much every one of these locations, there is a Demiguise statue. Not sure if it's absolutely every single one, but we are going to make our way to Lower Hogsfield and grab that Demiguise statue. And as soon as you spawn in, if we turn around and we use Revelio, you are going to see that the statue is in this building on the right hand side. So we go in and just behind the door, that is the Demiguise moon. That's number 12. We have one more to go. So what I've decided to do is from Hogwarts Castle, we made our way down to Lower Hogsfield. We grabbed that one. And now I've gone further south and I've gone down to the flu flame that is at Keenbridge. Now when you spawn in, the flu flame's right there. You can choose any of these areas to go to for the final two. But what you want to do is go through and there's going to be a building on your left hand side. Jump over the wall there and there's going to be a level one lock. And upon opening the door, you are going to see your final Demiguise Moon statue right in front of you. So now you've got to go to the south wing and go to the faculty tower. And upon returning, if we head over to Gladwin Moon, and upon handing those moons in, you will have Alohomora level 3. So that is all of that quest complete. You can now unlock every single lock in the game. Levels 1, 2, and 3, as soon as you see one, you can pick them up on Revelio. You can unlock them using the spell. So that is going to do it for the Demiguys statue or Demiguys moon location guide. And let me know your thoughts and stuff about Hogwarts Legacy in the comments. That's going to do it for this video. Check out this video if you want to see other content on the channel. I will see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.